Hey everyone, 3 d Hero here, and welcome to today's weekly reset, where I'll be covering this week's events and limited bounties for the 9th of March until the 15th of March. Firstly, let's go with this week's limited bounties. We have the following. Clear 3 quests within Agent Forest, clear 5 6 star quests, and slay Valor Hazak 4 times in any rank. Doing all this, you'll be rewarded with a Golden Egg, Golden Wyvern Print, and the General Armor Spears, plus some Silver Wyvern Prints. So, the first event we have is the Chew the Fat event quest, which has you taken on two low level Great Jaguars in the Asian Forest. It's a two star quest, which is quite easy to complete, and an ideal place to farm low level parts if you need crafting parts for some of the weapons in game. Next, we have the Triple Threat Throwdown event quest, where you'll be put up against the Great Gyros, Great Jaguars, and Dodo Gamma within the arena. This is a six star quest, and is relatively easy to complete on your own, as the monsters are quite easy to read, and generally fight against. Now one thing to know about this event is that it rewards you with a lot of tier 1 jewels which can be of use to you for either your gear sets or you can go ahead and trade it to the Elder Melder for better jewels outcome. This has been a recurring event and has showed up in the past two times before so for those that have missed out or may have been low level and couldn't do it, now is your time to participate and get this very rewarding event. Next we have the A Flash in the Pan event quest which puts you up against 3 to Z to Z Yakuz in the Gelrin Hall Arena. Facing 1 to Z Yaku can be a problem, but generally facing 3 at a time, while they're all flashing you is an absolute pain, and a general struggle for many people, so I recommend you do this solo, so you can get a good grasp and strategy to count all 3, and then use a weapon that either hits hard and stuns the monster, or generally go with something that allows you more speed and movability. Generally what you want to do is you just want to hit the monster as quick as possible, and then you want to get out of the range before they end up flashing you, because if they all flash you at the same time, then you'll be in the influent death loop. Lastly, we have the A Simple Task event quest, which requires you to gather 10 Gormit's room caps in the Agent Forest. Although this quest looks simple and easy, you'll also be up against a Tempered Vaphalos, a Tempered Raytheon, and a Basil Goose. Now, you don't have to kill them as the objective is the mushrooms, but it is an ideal event for gathering Tempered Monsters investigations, which can pay off massively if you hit a motherload of investigations. So, I recommend you do the event, get as many tempered prints for the investigation as possible, and then when the time is near done, go ahead and complete the quest. Seek your rewards, and go ahead and test out all the investigations you got. And that everyone is the end of that. I hope the video provided the information you need to know more about the events and what they may all hold for you. If you enjoyed the video, then a like and a sub would be appreciated. And do remember to comment in the comment section if there's anything I may have missed, or there's anything that I may have left out. Once again guys, thank you all for watching, and I do hope to see you all again soon.